let's talk though about what the what the quote lamestream media is saying about this. Ron Fournier, who's been on the show many times, uh, from the National Journal, was on Fox News Sunday. Congressman Brooks saying this: As this growing voting bloc in this country thinks the Republican Party hates them, this party, your party, cannot be the party of the future beyond November if you're seen as the party of white people. Your reaction? Well, this is a part of the war on whites that's being launched by uh, the Democratic Party. And the way in which they're launching this war is by claiming that whites hate everybody else. It's a part of the strategy uh, that Barack Obama implemented in 2008, continued in in 2012, where he divides us all on race, on sex, greed, envy, class warfare, all those kinds of things. Well, that's, that, that's not true. But to fact check the good congressman's allegations of this, quote, war on whites, let's take a look at some actual numbers that might show what's happening in the war. Like average family wealth over the last generation, that blue line is the average for a white family. And as you can see, there's been a consistently very large gap between that and the wealth of black and Hispanic families. It is strange that the war on whites has not done more about this. Or how about income? Here's median household income over about the past 40 years. As you can see, white families bring in nearly $20,000 more a year than Hispanic families and almost $24,000 more than black families. And as for the poverty rate, well, poverty rate for black households is nearly triple the rate for white families. Unemployment rate, black and Hispanic unemployment has consistently been much, much higher than the unemployment rate for whites over the past 40 years. And black unemployment is currently more than twice as high as white unemployment. And then there's the incarceration rate. In the last 50 years, we have dramatically increased the rate at which we imprison all folks in our population. But the rate at which we incarcerate minorities has skyrocketed, and it far outstrips the rate at which we incarcerate whites. If this is what it looks like when the Democrats running the federal government declare war on white people, man, I would hate to see what it would look like if the government declared war on non-white people.